Welcome back to Auto Review in another episode of Bike Review. Please, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe now and activate the bell button so you're informed about any new video coming up. Man, thank you very much, Motor Center Tune, who provided this bike to me so I can show it to you. And I was able to test it for the last two days, and I'll give you my resume now. So, first effects what do we have here? This is the 2017 BMW R 1200 GS exclusive. Exclusive is one of the different models there is. There's the GS, the Adventure and the Exclusive. We have here 125 horsepower at 7750 RPM, 125 newton meters of maximum torque at 6500 RPM, 0 to 100 in 3.6 seconds, top speed more than 200 kilometers an hour. We have a fuel tank capacity of 20 liters. Uh, I had a fuel consumption between 4.4 and 5.2 liters, depends on how you drive. And the price for the R1200 GS starts at 16,490 Swiss francs. The bike that we have here, with all the different equipment on board, we have different packages, I'll tell you in a moment as well, is 21,460 Swiss francs. We have a seating height of stock 850 millimeters. You can get a higher one with 870 millimeters. Weight with 90% fuel tank is 244 kilograms. Suspension in the front is 190 millimeters. In the back, 200 millimeters travel way. And we have here the comfort package. We have the dynamic package and we have the technic package or technic packet. Um, so some things that come in these packages. For example, we have BLED headlights, which is amazing. I was driving yesterday at night and it was really great. The normal one is good, but once you put on a high beam, it's pretty much daylight in front of the bike. Uh, we have the guards here for the hands. We have heated grips in two settings. Um, there is no heated seat on this one. And then we have the windshield that you can actually bring up and down manually, as you can see here. We have a keyless right, so you basically put the key just in your pocket, like that. Uh, you don't have to put it in anywhere. We have a navigation. Uh, installment kit that basically is ready to go so you can just plug it in and it will be powered. We have cruise control which works really really superb which is on the left side here. We have um, the Sch Schalt Assistant Pro which is basically shifting up and down without actually clutching so you can basically once you accelerate and you keep the gas on you can shift up and you can shift down with the gas or without the gas. Um, it's a bit tricky in from first to second gear because it's really, really powerful and you have to be a little bit careful, uh, but it works really nicely and especially when you accelerate hard, you don't have to worry about uh, clutching anymore. You just shift up. It's basically like an automatic kind of. The only thing you have to do is shift with the left foot. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So one thing I was actually surprised by the bike is how easy it uh, handles and how easy I can drive it. I was always a little bit not afraid but I had respect in front of the GS uh, because it's just a big bike but actually once you drive it you don't really feel it. The power with the weight together, yes 125 horsepower and 244 kilograms plus the driver on top is quite a lot of weight but actually it handles easier for example than the K1600 bagger that I drove so I'll link it up here um, and it was super easy actually to maneuver it uh, in reverse as well so there's no problem whatsoever you don't need a reverse gear like in the bagger 
It's very, very comfortable. And that's one thing that I was surprised by. I knew that the GS is a bike that a lot of people use, especially here in the Swiss mountains when they travel over the Alps. Uh, and you see tons of them on the Grimsel Pass, Furka Pass and so on. Uh, but I was really surprised how comfortable it is to sit on the bike and how comfortable it is to ride. We have obviously a different ride modes. We have different suspension settings, uh, four and three. Uh, we have enduro setting, we have a road setting, we have a dynamic setting and uh, rain setting. And then we have uh, as well dynamic and road for the suspension. You can adjust the ABS uh, in different settings as well. So overall it's actually a very impressive bike. But enough of the talking, now let's drive and I'll show you and tell you what it is to drive it. And we're gonna do it here in the mountains. Enjoy! All right, so now what do I think about the GS and how does it drive? <clears throat> First of all, power is plenty, torque is plenty and you have to be very careful, especially with the shout assistant or the shift assistant. I'll show you the first gear and with this nice crackle the first gear at 3000. So you see when you do first gear and you shift up, see it's quite abrupt and it kind of slams it in so you have to be careful so I would first second third gear I would do with clutch and then I would use the assistant now handling wise yes you feel the weight however it's still it's still very nice to drive um, once moving there is really no problem obviously it's physics right uh, to get it in the corner yes it's different from a sports bike. Obviously, we have a lot of travel way, 190 mm in the front and 200 in the back. But um, so we're gonna drive our usual test track, which isn't the test track, the uh, bay or the bucht, which is uh, at Tuna Lake or Lake Tune. and you will try to accelerate. It's actually very quick, as I say, zero to 100 in 3.6 seconds. So even if I show you 20 to 80, it's gonna be gone in, in, you know, in nothing. No, that's 80 from 40. So we're gonna do it from 20. Actually, we can't do it from 20. Okay, let's go. see it lifted the front wheel so you have to be very careful I would not recommend this bike oh my god I just killed a fly exactly in my face I mean luckily I had the windshield on um, yeah so you have to be very careful because uh, it goes up if you uh, accelerate too hard so I would not recommend this to uh, a beginner or someone who hasn't ridden in a long while um, I'm gonna stop here because I want to actually show you how it how to drive it without talking so you can enjoy the sound and the view i put down the windshield because you can lift it up here as you can see but i put it all the way down so we don't have um, the sticker because there were some stickers and there's something left there so enjoy and i'll see you after the bay and uh, tell you what i think about it
right, so we drove now through the bay, the Bucht, and um, I put the windshield up again, it's changed the suspension to road, changed the motor correctly or the engine characters to road. Now it's a bit chill. I have cruise control on, as you can see, magic hands, the bike keeps the um, speed. And it's super easy to balance it uh, just with weight distribution. Uh, you shouldn't do it just in case there's something on the road, but you know, at least you can rest your hands from time to time um, with cruise control. So we have hit the grips, as I mentioned, two settings here on top. It shows some display is different, it's a monochrome display, not the same as in the bagger, which was nice uh, color display. This has no function here on this bike. Again, I mentioned four settings for the characteristic of the engine, two settings for the suspension. Uh, you can go through here. Now we have um, tire pressure monitor sensors, front and rear, obviously. Date, temperature, 16 degrees. It's warmer. Yesterday was 9 degrees in the evening. And what I mentioned as well, the boxer engine, the positive point is when it's cold outside you actually have protection of your uh, leg on the lower part of the legs because of the boxer how it builds how it's built on the top uh, it's still a bit chilly but not bad however we have no heated seat on this one now, cruise control is fine the adjustment of the light so basically the high beam uh, is here on the front so you have to like flick it with the front finger and everything else is fine Problem with BMW, as usual, a lot of money you pay, you get good quality bike, but for example, the buttons are not illuminated. And you get this on really cheap bikes. You get this on a KTM Duke 125, just on a side. So, as I mentioned, we have three packages built in here. Um, this protection here, which is really good. Actually, it helps a lot when it's cold outside. In addition to the heated grips, it's actually perfect. And what else can I tell you? Now, I put the windshield up, you saw it, so we can put it down again, or any liking you can do. Would be nice if it would be electric, and obviously we have uh, a speed camera there. Hello. Driving very slow. So, resume. And uh, yeah, so overall 6490 base price and 21460 as it is here for the exclusive um, would I recommend the bike yeah because it's super comfortable it's really a lot of comfort on this bike the seating position the handle uh, how the arms are you don't get really tired I drove 65 kilometers uh, in a piece yesterday night at 9 degrees the LED light is amazing the high beam is LED as well so B by LED or LED uh, it's really great yeah I love it and it's very comfortable fuel consumption 4.4 to 5.2 let me see 5.7 I have now because I was driving a little bit harder now uh, it depends on how I drive when I picked up the bike and had a couple thousand kilometers on the clock they didn't reset the um, fuel gauge so it was at 4.4 liters so you can drive it really economical 20 liter tank means you can get what, 4 and a half, 9, 18, 400, 450 kilometers, let's say. So you can go over the uh, Swiss Alps, over the over pass, uh, without worrying that you run out of fuel. Navigation pre-installed, uh, I mean, the, you know, the holder here. So, um, really great bike, yeah. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little ride here. You saw it was actually way overpowered in this twisty road second gear I couldn't even uh, rev out the second gear because I would be way above uh, 100 kilometers an hour so I drove like 85 90 or something and then I had to you know take down the throttle and um, yeah you shouldn't be worried about that you don't have enough power or anything like that so thanks a lot motor center tune link in the description if you have any question just put them down subscribe activate the bell symbol and I'll see you next time bye